From our Kalamazoo Battle Creek newsroom, this is WOTV 41 News. An unusual case of sexual harassment heads for court in Kalamazoo. Good evening, I'm Mark Bedore. Thanks for joining us tonight. A prominent Kalamazoo businessman is facing accusations that he sexually harassed a, a, another man. Realtor Jim Berghorst pled no contest to the assault charge filed against him by a former intern. Western Michigan University student Ben Piper says that Berghorst sexually attacked him as the two met for dinner last year. Piper filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against Berghorst. He's seeking more than $10,000 for emotional damages. Piper's attorney says the assault took place after the two ate dinner. He put his hand on Ben Piper's leg and then took off one of Ben Piper's shoes and said, I'd like you to get more comfortable. Ben Piper was concerned about this when Jim Berghorst put his hand on his leg. Berghorst denied the allegations in a telephone interview today. Piper refused to be interviewed for our story. The months of January and March now loom large on the calendar of entertainer Michael Jackson. A Los Angeles judge has ordered a March trial of a civil suit against the pop star. In it, a 13-year-old boy claims that Jackson sexually molested him. The judge says that Jackson must give a deposition in the case by the end of January. Jackson's attorneys had wanted to delay the civil proceedings and claimed that such a trial could hurt the singer's chances if he ever faces criminal charges. Back in West Michigan, the search for a missing Porter's pilot has been called off for the night. 45-year-old Ken Talmer left the Kalamazoo Battle Creek Airport Sunday and hasn't been seen since. The pilot was apparently heading for Milwaukee, but he left no flight plan. The Civil Air Patrol plans to resume its search for Talmer tomorrow morning. Switching now to the airline business tonight, it's United, not American, that's attracting concern over what some people are calling a job slowdown, but what others claim is just an emphasis on safety. The pilots' union is insisting on following safety regulations to the letter, but denies that this attention to detail is being done to bring business to a standstill. The action is apparently in response to United's rejection of a recent employee buyout offer. More labor troubles, labor troubles rather, in Los Angeles, where the blue flu is going around tonight. Nearly half of the 347 officers scheduled for this morning's shift called in sick. The action was taken to protest a contract which doesn't offer a pay raise. But a judge has issued a restraining order demanding that officers report back to work. The president of the police union, which has more than 7,500 members, says that the officers will follow the judge's orders. Looks like we'll have to wait until after Thanksgiving to find out if the Brady Bill is going to pass. Senate Majority Leader George Mitchell says he'll call a special session after the holiday to vote on that issue. The bill would impose a nationwide five-day waiting period before you could purchase a handgun. There's talk of dropping the waiting period after four or five years when an electronic background check system is expected to be in operation. A final version has passed the House, but Republicans are filibustering in the Senate to block its passage. They say it no longer has any of the changes that were worked out in a compromise with Senate Democrats. An unidentified Battle Creek man was shot in the back tonight trying to run away from a robbery attempt. Police say the victim was walking near Manchester and North Wood Street when he was approached and surrounded by four men who demanded money. The victim made a run for it and was shot in the back. Fortunately, that wound is not life-threatening, and police say the 40-year-old is expected to recover. Meantime, investigators are looking for the shooter. In Muskegon, a police officer is recovering tonight from injuries that he sustained in a shootout with a robbery suspect. It happened inside a dry-cleaning store on Apple Avenue. Police say the 27-year-old Edgar Page tried to get his clothes but had no money and pulled a gun. After police arrived, shots were fired. Sergeant Ed Pusis was hit in the hand by a bullet. Page was hit in the chest and leg. Tonight, Page is in critical condition. State police are investigating. In Kalamazoo, people driving along West Edge Avenue can view a very disturbing anti-Semitic message. Somebody spray-painted the Jewish Star of David on the side of the Norman Camera Store. Along with the religious symbol are two pitchforks suggestive of the devil. There are other symbols as well. The store manager thinks they might be gang signs. I think it's just something that they've seen someplace, so they painted it here. I don't know. But uh, as far as I know, you know, it was, it was just done because it's dark here, good place to paint. Woodman says it'll cost about $1,400 to cover up the vandalism. Other nearby businesses are also reporting problems. Kalamazoo police say they're still looking for whoever did it. 
A Battle Creek teenager could spend the next 30 years behind bars for his role in a shocking case of child sexual abuse. A judge today sentenced Stephen Dilling to 15 to 30 years in prison. Dilling convicted of forcing two toddlers to engage in sex acts and then videotaping it. So far, four young men have been tried and convicted in the case. A fifth is set to stand trial early next month. Kalamazoo police are searching for two men that they say shot and wounded a man and his teenage brother over the past weekend. Police are looking for 24-year-old Joseph Harris and David Singleton, who is also 24. They're wanted for Sunday's shooting of Sean and Kevin Labar on East Main. Both victims are still hospitalized tonight with gunshot wounds. Police believe that Harris and Singleton are still in the area and ask that if you have any information on where they might be, please call the police. Accused killer Joseph Krantz may be back in West Michigan in less than two weeks. Krantz is suspected of killing his pregnant wife Lois in Kalamazoo back in August of 1992. Krantz eluded capture until September when he was discovered and arrested in Laredo, Texas. Last night, authorities finalized plans to extradite Krantz back to Michigan. He's facing charges of kidnapping, armed robbery, and murder. Attorney General Frank Kelly says he's ready to take a Battle Creek company to court. Right Choice Foods is under investigation for violating the item pricing law. In Michigan, every item on store shelves must carry its own price sticker. Right Choice Foods doesn't do that and says the Attorney General is forcing stores to charge their customers more. If the store doesn't comply with the law, though, it could be shut down. The oldest home in Portage might not be torn down after all. Tonight, the Portage City Council took steps to save it. WOTV 41's Vivian King has been following the battle to preserve the old house. She joins us live tonight from our newsroom with the details. Vivian? Mark, the house built in 1846 sits in a growing business district in Portage. But when the man who owns it agreed to sell it to a commercial developer, part of the deal called for keeping the old house intact. Because, well, actually, when I found that, I found it right here. Really? Well, they get bulldozed out. Dr. Robert DeLong points out features on the home he's lived in for 30 years. Though he's selling it and moving out, he still wants to see it preserved. It is a historical place. I mean, after all, you get a house that's 146, 147 years old. And it, it means something to the community. Rumor has it the home was a station on the Underground Railroad, the secret system that helped runaway slaves. While no one can verify that fact, other features make the home just as historical. Its unique Greek revival architecture is unusual because of its offset front door. The house has windows that sit close to the roof, a feature only found in older homes. And the basement has stone walls, 22 inches thick. The cable, for instance, they wanted to get through the walls. They broke so many bits that they said, do you mind if I run it on the outside and up into a window? So the house is really built. There are few homes like it still standing, which makes it a current day history lesson. I think that we need to know where we came from to know where we're going. And uh, uh, as any student of history will tell you, there's a great deal to be learned from history. I think it would be uh, a shameful thing for to have it lost. I don't, I don't think that there's anything that could replace the, the hole that would be left in the history of the city of Portage. Now, apparently the Portage City Council agrees with the historical value of the home. Tonight it approved a proposal to accept the home as a donation. Now, the next step will be for the Historical District Commission to determine what it will take to relocate the home to a historical park. And, Mark, eventually the city will try to seek grants to finance such a project. Very interesting. Beautiful house. Thanks very much, Vivian King, reporting live tonight from our newsroom. Well, we lucked out again. Much of the West is getting blasted by a big storm system, but we enjoyed another beautiful, warm, sunny day. Let's find out how long our good fortune will continue as we get a preview of tonight's forecast now from Craig James. Well, after another beautiful fall day, the cold front's going to try and come back down through the Kalamazoo Battle Creek area again tonight, and this time it looks as if it's going to stay to our south during the day tomorrow. We'll tell you what that means to our temperature pattern in just a few minutes. Still to come on WOTV 41 News, a breakthrough that may prevent the disease of diabetes will head to tails. And Kenny Rogers performs in Battle Creek, highlights of his concert and much more when WOTV 41 News continues. Tomorrow, if your health were at stake, would you break the law if you thought it would help? Also, our own Julia Child and how to earn quick cash for the holidays. On Good Morning America, tomorrow. 
Your furniture isn't the only thing movers pass. Lowball bids, bills jacked up, and insurance? Ha! Ah, our hidden cameras catch some rather flagrant moving violations. What? I'm not gonna get my stuff until Saturday or Sunday? Plus, sex, violence, controversy. NYPD Blue's David Caruso. What's he really like? Primetime Thursday. All right, what's it gonna take to get you to buy a new car or truck from Shaheen Chevrolet Geo Hyundai? How about an incredible deal, Ralph? We've got them at Shaheen Chevrolet. 1994 Berettas, easy price, just $99 down, only $240 a month. 94 Corsica, just $99 down, $255 a month. Or how about this for an incredible deal? New Hyundai Excel, no money down, only $127 a month. How about you get me financed? We can do it because we have credit programs for every situation. So we'll get practically everyone financed at Shaheen Chevrolet Geo Hyundai. And Logan's just south of Holmes Lansing. The greatest thing, this instructor's here, they're not, they're not good, they're fantastic. They've become friends of mine, they've encouraged me, they've given me a lot of confidence and support in my abilities. It's a great place to get started. The diversity here is so great. The knowledge that I gained from here was easily transferable to both the university and the workplace. Kalamazoo Valley Community College. For registration information, call 372-5580. Now you can rent this full-size car for $56 a day. How about a tuxedo for $69.95 a day? Or you can go to Coleman Rentals and get this 25-inch stereo TV monitor with remote control for just $2.28 a day. Rent to own this pager and keep in touch with family and friends for just $9.99 per week. Airtime's included and you own it after just 52 weeks. Every single minute, someone in this country is diagnosed with diabetes, a potentially fatal disease. But tonight, a remarkable discovery. Michigan researchers believe that they have stumbled upon a way of wiping out that disease forever. HealthWise reporter Sean Boyd has the story. Timing is everything. A week ago, 13-year-old Sean Rose of Rockford learned he had a life-threatening disease, juvenile diabetes. This week, researchers uncovered a possible cure, a vaccine used for decades to prevent tuberculosis. Scientists at the University of Michigan say this so-called BCG vaccine actually preserves insulin-producing cells forever, eliminating the need for insulin shots and preventing the complications of the disease. Sean may be among the first in the country to test it. I hope I don't have to take my shots and stuff <clears throat> again. And helps everybody else and everybody else could, has diabetes gets to use it. But researchers warn the vaccine only works in people who get it within a month after diagnosis. On the other hand, uh, you can't, we don't think, do it three or four or five months down the road. We think it may be too late by that time. So you have kind of a, it's a one-time thing. And that makes recruitment for the study tough. You see, the only way to determine if the vaccine works is to give it to some patients and not others. If Sean enters the study, he may or may not get protection. If he doesn't, he can get the vaccine from his doctor for about a hundred bucks. Would this vaccine have the potential to wipe out diabetes? Yes, it would. Or at least to really minimize, uh, minimize the incidence of it. A chance to stop the leading cause of blindness, limb loss, and kidney failure. A chance okay. of a lifetime. In Grand Rapids, HealthWise reporter Sean Boyd. If you'd like to find out more about the vaccine trial, you can call that number on your screen, 774-1291. Okay, you feel tense, anxious, stressed. Well, you need to relax because a new study is suggesting that what's weighing on your mind is driving up your blood pressure and putting your health at risk. A study in the Journal of the American Medical Association finds that middle-aged men with high stress levels have twice the incidence of high blood pressure, and that means higher risk of heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. More and more how the, the mind-body connection works, uh, it's almost not worth it to separate them anymore. Um, it's really one entity. Women were not targeted in this study, so the effects on them are not clear. Researchers say that biofeedback and psychological therapy, though, can reduce tension. And now a scolding for both hypertensive and diabetic patients. A pharmaceutical industry group says that only about half of you are taking your medicine as prescribed. The cost of the U.S. economy is staggering $100 billion a year in hospitalizations and missed work. The Battle Creek's International Festival of Lights continued to sparkle tonight with the second in a series of star-studded concerts.
Kenny Rogers, the gambler, played to a packed house at the Kellogg Arena tonight. He did as much talking to the crowd as he did singing, offering $10 bills to fans who could name some of his old songs. Rogers' performance comes just two days after Red Skelton, still to come in the festival concert series, is Mel Torme, Victor Borg, and Emmylou Harris. And finally tonight, a guard at the Muskegon Correctional Facility has been arrested and charged with dealing cocaine. Wanda Genter of Fruitland is accused of playing a role last year in the delivery of more than a pound of cocaine. Details of her arrest have not been released. Genter is a 15-year veteran of the state prison system, and she is suspended without pay. More to come now as we join the News 8 team. We're back tomorrow at 6 and 11. We'll see you then. You think you've heard it all? Oh, come on. Funny what you hear? Huh? On the People's Court. The People's Court, tomorrow morning at 9. This holiday season, while you're shopping, we'll be dropping $5 million in the Discover Card Big Payback. Now, every time you use your card, you're automatically entered in our $5 million sweepstakes. It pays to discover the card with the big payback. This hunting season, Waylon Ford is giving you a way to save the bucks. Waylon's taking aim at the competition by shooting down high prices. Hunting for a great deal? How about a special edition F-154 pickup, just $99.95? Or a 93 Tempo GL with all the options priced to sell at $82.99? Waylon Ford's loaded with prime deals, so if you don't want to get there now, you could waste a lot of dough. It's the season for saving the bucks at Waylon Ford, home of the guaranteed lowest prices. Academy Award-winning actress Shirley Jones. Want to know why my hair looks this beautiful every time I perform? The secret is wigs. In show business, we've worn them for years. And now there's Celebrity Secrets, an exciting new collection of wigs available through this catalog from Paula Young. Even if your hair is thin or hard to manage, you'll instantly look younger and more beautiful. And with the Paula Young catalog, you have the convenience and privacy of shopping at home. For your free Paula Young catalog, call now. Inside is everything you need to find your favorite styles and colors, all 100% guaranteed. Best of all, Celebrity Secrets wigs are so natural looking, no one will know but you. To get your free catalog, call 1-800-529-9900. That's 1-800-529-9900. Celebrity Secrets wigs are only available from Paula Young. So call 1-800-529-9900. WOTV 41, close to home in Kalamazoo. Oh. The Lummi language does not have words for a lot of things. We never thought we'd need them. Help preserve the traditional American Indian cultures. Well, Craig James comes yes. out tonight clearing his throat. No <laughs> way, I'm no. not doing weather. No problems. Yeah. Would you like I'll to fill in for Tom? <laughs> you try to explain why it wasn't cloudy and cool today. <laughs> But our cloudy and cool day never looked so good as it did today. And uh, Tom never looked so good either, by the way. <laughs> but we do have, uh, I think, a lot of clouds finally coming tomorrow and the cooler weather. That cold front that came through last night went right back to the north of us today. And what a great November afternoon. Let's take a look at it. In fact, this was the second warmest day of the month. The warmest day was 63. Today it hit 56 in Grand Rapids, even mid-50s along the lake shore. And lows this morning were in the mid-30s. At 11 p.m., Grand Rapids temperature rating is a 42, 67% humidity. Our barometer is going up. The breeze is calm. The front has come back down right over us at the current time. And no rain or snow today either. That all was well off to our north. So the front that was down along the Michigan-Indiana border last night, if you recall, went all the way up to about Ludington during the day today. It is now beginning to come back to the south, uh, generally west of Saginaw, all the way back down into Illinois. Mild out ahead of it. It gets cool behind it. Cold in the upper peninsula. 
In fact, there's been some freezing drizzle around Pelston on down to Grayling and Gaylord tonight. Uh, numerous icy conditions reported up in there and also some freezing drizzle up in northeastern Wisconsin. That should stay there, but we will get a little bit of light rain or drizzle in our area a little bit later on during the night tonight. And you can see uh, where the cold front is right in through here. It's in the 50s and even 60s out ahead of it still at this hour this evening. While behind it, these are current temperatures. It's as low as 15 below in southeastern Montana. Rapid City, South Dakota has a wind chill of minus 42. And down in northeastern New Mexico, the temperature fell 55 degrees in six hours there earlier today. That's a pretty good front, but nothing like that is coming our way. Now, uh, here again is the, this frontal system uh, kind of snaking its way across the United States. Just the weight of all this cold air is pushing it off to the south. And this weak little low, again, I think it's going to give us a little bit of light rain or drizzle come tomorrow morning. But I'll show you why this system is so difficult to forecast. Here's the upper level jet stream superimposed over the surface conditions. Uh, the main polar jet coming down into the United States. One section of it, though, up in Canada. Subtropical jet coming in through here, bringing moisture into the southern states. But look at this upper level low that has developed over Montana right over top of the surface high pressure system. Now that's not usually the case. The upper level low would normally be over in here. But as the cold air pushes this front a little bit farther south, the surface low is way removed from the upper level system. So this uh, is not going to develop into a storm yet. It's going to take a while, and that probably will not happen until the daytime hours on Thursday. And by Thursday morning, it'd probably be located in northern Missouri, and the exact timing of when this thing comes out, a little bit difficult to tell. Keep your fingers crossed we don't get any freezing rain late Thursday and Thursday night. That might be a possibility as the colder air comes in over the weekend. I think we will change any rain over to a little bit of snow or flurries. But let's take a look at our forecast for us in the meantime. For tonight, uh, certainly cloudy, cool. There might be a little bit of rain or drizzle towards morning. Low temperatures in the upper 30s to near 40, and the wind will become northeasterly. Tomorrow's outlook, though, breezy and colder. Chance of a little light rain or drizzle in the morning, and temperatures will hold steady and maybe even fall off a few degrees as the wind picks up out of the northeast and wind chills could fall into the teens by late in the day tomorrow. And the outlook for uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, may clear out a little bit tomorrow night, and the clouds will come back in on Thursday. Breezy and cold, chance of some light rain late, and keep your fingers crossed again, there isn't any freezing rain in that. And our outlook for Lake Michigan, northeast winds tomorrow, one to three foot waves. And our graphic outlook shows uh, a little bit of light rain possible tomorrow. It uh, could be a few snowflakes before it ends, but I don't think there'll be much of that. Temperatures will go down, and best chance of rain will be Thursday night into Friday, and that'll change over to some snowflakes. Hopefully not a whole lot, but we'll see more about that tomorrow over the weekend. Hopefully more snowflakes yes. and no freezing Yeah, a lot of people rain. waiting for snow. That's scary. A lot of people aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I am with them. Yes. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Jack Doles is up next with Tuesday Night Sports. The hoops try and stay perfect in the young season. Highlights from the Sky Force are coming up next. And we'll find out if Shaquille has met his match. That story and more when this edition of the Night Team Report continues. Bought any durable goods lately? You know, stable investments that last five years or more. Okay, how about something for the garage? The Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra. Of all the Sierras purchased in the last eight years, 95% are still on the road. And Sierra Special Edition has airbag, anti-lock brakes, automatic and air for just $13,995. Or you could spend $5,000 more on a Taurus. It's your money. See your West Michigan Olds Group retailer today. Why do B&M contractors get so many jobs? Because B&M uses only the best materials for all your home improvement needs, including the Harbor Window, made right here in Michigan. B&M has quality trained installers, plus an inspector who makes sure every job is perfect. B&M is a family-owned business whose estimates are about half what the big guys charge. And B&M has over 35 years of experience specializing in roofing, siding, decks, and seamless gutters. For quality work at affordable prices, call B&M contractors today. If you really want to relax, unwind, and escape, you want Waterworks Express, Battle Creek's luxury hot tub rental establishment. At Waterworks, you'll love the atmosphere. Choose from five outdoor or two indoor hot tub environments, each with private showers and changing areas, and your choice of music. Waterworks Express has gift certificates, too, so you can share the warmth this holiday season. Call and make your reservations, or pick up a gift certificate and let Waterworks Express take you out of this world. Real heroes. People don't obey the speed laws. Real danger. That's good. Real stories of the highway patrol. Tomorrow at 7.30. You got anything good to eat around here? Yeah, I got something good. Is it candy? Nope, it's not candy. Is it cookies? Nope, it's not cookies.
Jack Dolls is here with sports. Michigan gets a bowl after all. Yes, they do. The Michigan well, Wolverines. Honor or an insult, though? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> it depends on who you ask. Michigan will play on New Year's Day in the Hall of Fame Bowl. Athletic Director Jack Weidenbach broke the news at the annual Michigan football bus tonight. Their opponent most likely will be NC State, but that is yet, be to, yet to be determined. That is not much of an opponent, Sean. Mm -mm. Ugly. That's the only way to describe the Hoops' performance tonight. They lost at home to the winless Sioux Falls Sky Force, 101-88, the final score. Not what you'd call an inspired performance. Hoopy pretty much sums it up with that attempted dunk. It was that kind of night. Hoops did have a one-point halftime lead, though. Nice pass here from Reggie Jordan to Jeff King. Jordan definitely the main man for uh, the uh, hoops tonight. He uh, one assist away from a triple-double lead. A nice crossover move here. He had 15 points, 16 rebounds, and nine assists. But the hoops in the second half, lethargic. This is Cedric Hunter all open for the jumper. Former Kansas Jayhawk with 26, Bruce Stewart. Yeah, not a smile on his face there. Another triple here by Roland Gray. Hoops lose it, 101 to 88, their first loss of the season. Muskegon Mona Shores has advanced to the quarterfinals in the girls' basketball state tournament. The Sailors beat Marquette in tonight's regional final. Mike Mack chomping real hard on that gum. Heather Piseki, double pump move, pretty. She two over 13. Then on the break, it's going to be Piseki again. Gets a nice feed from her teammate, Jamie Agren. And Mona Shores, 49-35 winners over Marquette. So they are the first area team to advance into the quarterfinals. College hoop. At Dalma, sees his ball club get a win. Calvin against Wheaton. This is Daryl Van Vandelev inside. He's going to be the man to try and fill some big shoes of Steve Hundred. Chris Canooster, though, the drive to the hoop. Pretty lay in 78 60. Calvin beats Wheaton. Other scores to pass along Lewis over Grand Valley 86 to 67. Western Michigan wins over Porto. K College winner in Alma beats Aquinas 90 to 73. Next stop, the NBA, where the top picks in the last two drafts squared off in Orlando. Shaquille O'Neal and the Magic Coasting, Chris Webber's Warriors. What a ball game between these two big Warriors in the NBA. But Shaq gets the best of it. Watch the nice feed inside from Scott Skiles. Oh, he puts it down. Shaq had 28, and his club gets the win. But Chris Webber...